Welcome back to Hardcore Iron Man Road to Completion. This is uh, week 28, and this week I'm focusing on Slayer, crafting, and I guess range, but that comes with Slayer. Anyway, so I, w I, I was really close to 399s this week. I wanted to get all three by the end of the week, and like as you saw in the intro, I do. That's uh, range, Slayer, and crafting, so yeah, I'll be AFK and crafting, and when I can't don't need to AFK, I'll be doing Slayer. So there's not a lot of clips this week because it's all just complete grinding. But um, yeah, still awesome progress for 399s. Monday's are always super busy for me, so that's why there's only two clips for that. But uh, Tuesday, got a uh, second scroll for Rocktail Soup. I think I finished that by the end of the week, but uh, did Guthixian caches. I did it like as much as I could remember this week, so trying to get that divination up for the 90 for uh, the adventure at Player on Ports, and 91, I guess, for converting all the manifest shadow cores I have in my bank. I have so many. But I uh, got 98 crafting today, and hopefully, well, I was hoping I would get 99 by the end of the week, so that was nice to get. And 97 Slayer at the Elves. These, this is a pretty nice Slayer task. Uh, decent drops and decent XP, so yeah, lots of Slayer today. <laughs> Continuing to slay my brains out on uh, Wednesday. I had a lot more time today to do Slayer. Got 20 mil uh, HP XP, which is kind of like a milestone. Gives you that chat message. 86 fletching. Just getting that out of the 85 uh, lowest skill range, I guess, so, to uh, influence tiers of Guthics and whatnot. And was that a daily challenge I was doing? Ah, I forget. And I was clearing out my bank because I, I was in desperate need of bank space. Like, I'm just out. <laughs> So I'm selling like all these, all this stuff, and I alked those three skill capes because I like my quest cape best. Of course, after this week, I'll be just w wearing my Slayer skill cape because I just think the Slayer skill cape is the coolest looking skill cape. But uh, did Tears of Guthics? I think it went into Smithing, yes, which I don't mind because that's a slow and annoying sk skill to get up for me at this point. The materials and whatnot got 87 divinations. Still trying to get that up through Guthixian caches, which I think gives you like 100k XP per day, which is really nice to get, and got my first Staff of Light for, off of a Ice Strike Worm task, like, finally, right? <laughs> I've uh, had several of these tasks and just never got the Staff of Light. Not gonna use it or anything, but, you know, it's kinda nice to have. Then I got a Greater Demon Slayer task and a Krill Tutsaroth uh, Reaper assignment, and I also get a Slayer Tut, uh, uh, another Reaper assignment for Krill Tutsaroth later as well, so did a lot of Zamorak, uh, God Wars Dungeon this week, got an Effigy drop, and uh, it was getting really laggy for me. The university internet was just terrible this week, but uh, also boots of subjugation. Back at Zamorak, uh, like in the morning, got gloves of subjugation. Zamorak was really trolly in terms of drops for me this <laughs> this week. I got another effigy, and they increase in rareness uh, um, every one you get. And I got another Steam Battle Staff. Well, I'm not another, that's my first Steam Battle Staff actually, but I do get another pair of boots of subjugation, which is like, ugh, I already have enough of these boots, and another pair of gloves. Like, I got two pairs of boots and gloves off of this one Slayer assignment, and I, I, the only piece I need is the legs, so that's really annoying. Alright, and this clip I believe is 99 ranged, uh, right after this kill, I think. So that's an awesome milestone to get, another 99. And uh, at this point, my only combat 99s I need, other than prayer and summoning, of course, is just my melee stats. So that's kind of nice to get. I think the, for the combat combatants cape, you, you still need the um, prayer and summoning, but uh, those are pretty close as well. So 99 ranged, so uh, yeah. <laughs> For these 99s I'm getting this week, I only get the Slayer skill cape because I don't really wear any skill capes or have any desire to buy them with a 99k, it's kind of a waste of money. But uh, 98 Slayer obtained, so just one more level, and yeah, a lot of this day was just grinding out these Slayer assignments, so I didn't actually get many clips, but I did get a Focus Sight, finally, off of a Desert Strike Worm. And since Morvern doesn't assign Jungle Strike Worms, I have like no chance to get a uh, Hex Crest, unless I go back to like Curadel or something for just for that assignment, which I probably won't do. Got another Eastern Scroll for Rocktail Soup today. Um, is that, I think it's like three out of four, so almost finished with that. And then I'm gonna get a te some Tetsu Scrolls because I think I'm getting my Smithing up soon for that. 90 Smithing would give me that Tetsu, which I kind of want really badly for doing Corp and whatnot. 
and uh, did some more Zamorak because I had another Zamorak Reaper task or something. I might have got, it might have been a Slayer assignment. I don't think so though. I'm not sure, but yeah, got another effigy. That's, that's the third effigy I've gotten, and 99 Slayer. Huge milestone there. Friggin' love this skill, and now it's finally like done. So I guess I'm not doing any more Slayer, which is kind of sad. It's a bittersweet kind of thing because I love the skill cape. I love having 99 Slayer, but I also love doing Slayer. So it's like, you know, it would have been nice to stream some Slayer over the summer because I do plan on live streaming a lot over the summer if I'm not busy with like a job or something. But um, yeah, Slayer would have been nice, but I'm sure I can find some, some stuff to stream. Even like grinding out some of those boring skills might be nice to stream just to have some uh, audience interaction and whatnot. Uh, Staff of Light, which, uh, yeah, I got another two Staffs of Light that are really close together on this last Slayer assignment ever for me, I guess. I'm not doing any more Slayer assignments. I might do, like, I might try to get the Jungle Strike Worms from a Slayer, Slayer Master just to have the Hex Crest and be able to finish my Slayer Helm fin finally, but nah, I don't think it'll be worth it anyway. I uh, got the Slayer Cape, which is going to be like my favorite cape from, from now until like, I don't know, Max Cape practically. Because, yeah, it's just my favorite skill cape. And the emote is kind of disappointing. I, I, I really wish they would like update this emo emote and make it something more impressive than just stomping on a Toroth. But, uh, oh well, it looks awesome, so that's all I care about. And yes, I love the older model way more than the newer one, so I made sure to toggle that on for this and all future skill capes. And I also put the hood on the old one, which is kind of cool that you can do now. Got 86 agility, which unlocks, of course, a um, really useful shortcut in Kuradel's dungeon, which I don't have to use anymore, so that's kind of depressing to get. And then uh, turned in a crafting daily challenge and getting real close to this 99 crafting, which of course I get tomorrow, as was spoiled for you in the intro. So tomorrow is going to be a lot of AFK action at the harps for to uh, finish off this skill as well. And yeah, you can to toggle off uh, Slayer daily challenges in crafting tomorrow. Did like a mahogany toy box daily challenge and in the middle of it got 88 construction, which is cool. Construction is kind of a iffy skill to get up for me, getting those planks and costing all that money and stuff. Got the last eastern scroll for the rocktail soup, so as soon as I get 90 uh, cooking, or at least, I think, can you boost to it? I'm not sure if you can, but I'll be able to make those soups anytime soon. And 99 crafting! It's like my first non com completely non-combat 99. I mean, Slayer's technically non-combat, but you, you do combat to do it. But anyway, 99 crafting, that's a nice thing to get out of the way. Although now I'm going to have to find different things to AFK than the harp. Because this harp has been really nice to just AFK for homework and everything. But now I'm probably going to do something like smithing and woodcutting and stuff. So 86 smithing. Once again, trying to get all my skills like out of the 85 thing. Because, I don't know... <laughs> Uh, for, for tears of gothics, I guess. So yeah, I'm just doing like all these random skills. Also, like I was just right behind someone behind on like the high scores, or like right behind a couple people on the high scores. So I just got all these quick skills to uh, boost myself on the high scores, just for the outro of this video, I guess. But uh, next week, I'm gonna try to just uh, level up like my lowest skills and just kind of generally get my skills up from yeah you know, those low skills like 80, 85s, 86s, just out of that range and try to get to close to that 90s cape was able to runecraft two nature runes at a time now, which is awesome. It's the, the big 91 runecrafting milestone. Can get a lot of natures now. And uh, got a heart, like a hard day, no, not a daily, the um, t task set thing uh, out of the way there. I think it was elite actually. Uh, then uh, turned in whatever that daily challenge. No, that was not 86 fire making, wasn't it? Anyway, uh, next week, I'm gonna be, yeah, like I said, focusing on my lowest skills and AFKing probably woodcutting or smithing, and uh, active skills are probably gonna be thieving or something. So, anyway, thanks for watching this week, and uh, see you next time!